All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. What's going on? Dan, 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 dan. Dean Bodie Show. How's everybody doing? What's happening? DeanBodie.com is the website. We have the podcast link on there and the social link on there to get you over to the YouTube channel. Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts. D E A N B O D I Space Show YouTube channel. We do the teasers early in the day. Get on the YouTube channel. You see all the teasers with Bodie in the shot. You don't want to miss those. And uh, we do the longer podcast like we're doing now. Man, we got all kinds of crazy stuff to talk about today. Oh, seriously, fasten your seatbelt because we're going. We're going in. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the like. Don't forget to ring the bell. You don't want to miss any of these shows. Why? Because these are real shows. We're doing it over here, Dean Bodie. I just we just got a congratulations from Buzzsprout, my hosting site. Congratulations on 1,000 downloads. Oh yeah, Dean Bodie, nice going. Hey Millie, yeah. Did you hear that? Dean Bodie podcast just hit 1,000 downloads. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that podcast. So, we're doing it. Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. The best. The greatest. DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698 is the Bodie fun line. The Bodie Holland. The Bodie check in with this line. Leave a little sing-along on there. We're waiting. She's checking all the messages. She'll know when you're calling. We'll put it on as a feature on the show. You want to leave a little riddle, a little story about your life, a little, hey, this happened to me today, and we'll bounce off of that. We will go with the flow. We will ping-pong off each other because that's what we do on Dean Bodie. We have so many connections we have, so many things we have in common. You're not going to believe it. You start leaving what you want on there. We'll make it a feature on the show. Don't you worry. So just say where you're from. Hey, why not? And say something. I don't know. uh, Your first name. Oh, oh, it's Bill from, oh, I don't know. Um, Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh, oh, Lou, wow, it's Mary. Where's she from? She's from Arkansas. And you know how it goes. So, all right, we're getting into the Wi-Fi. This is like part four of the Wi-Fi problem. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, we're really going through it over here with this. So this is what's happening now. Anyway, to get to the, I'm going to come back around again. But what happened is, or was, got up today, Wi-Fi not working again. Okay, here we go again. We already did the unplug thing once. We plug it back in with the modem. We unplug the router, plug it back in, and they start talking to each other. We went through a thing. We called them up. 30 minutes on hold. Thank you very much. She gets on, tells me what to do. The unplug this, unplug that. And we did the quick fix a couple times. She said, we're going to send the cable guy out there. I'm just reviewing what's going on because I think it's important. We're going to remember this Wi-Fi story after we get it all dialed in as the Wi-Fi saga. Oh, yeah. So, (laughs) so... Okay, Uh, they're going to send out a cable guy. I canceled the appointment because I did the little finagle, the unplug this and that a couple times it took. And we got it back. We got it going again because we don't want anybody in the house right now with what's going on and all of this and make a mess and all of that stuff. So we thought we had it figured out. Then we got up today. Another problem. Oh, So we tried the unplug, plug it back in. Didn't work. We said, okay, let's do it longer. Unplug them both, the modem and the router. Let's go take a shower. Let's do this. Let's do that. Plugged it back in. Did not work again. Here we go. So I said, you know what? I'm not only going to unplug the modem and the router, but I'm going to unplug the major one out of the wall. I'm going to show you I'm unplugging everything. I'm going to do a major shutdown. I mean, the whole system, I'm bringing it all the way down, and then you guys can do your little zippity-doo-dah and talk to each other again after I take Bodie on a walk because she's looking at me like I'm a, like I'm a nutcase. I got to go outside and do my business. Forget about the Wi-Fi for right now. Please, can we go outside? Why? 
Because she's a good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. She's the good girl, Bodie. Yeah, she's the best girl in the world. Ho! Oh. Of course, I can't keep her waiting too long, as I do sometimes. Not good. So we go for a walk. She does her business. We hang out outside under the shady tree for a little while. We pour her bowl of water, give her a little chew stick, enjoy the breeze. Temperature's getting up to the three figures now, 100, 101, 102. Okay, it's getting a little toasty, and she lets me know we can go back in now because I like the air conditioner better. Oh, yeah. Bodie's got a thick fur and a thick coat because they're from the wintry mountains of Japan, the Shiba Inus, in case you didn't know. Little moisture gets underneath there. And, um, you know, during this times of the month, the July and August, these are tough months for Bodie. Allergy seasons, different grasses and weeds are growing, little creepy crawlies in the grass, maybe biting her belly and, you know, messing with her, plus the sweat and all that stuff. You try lying and rolling around in the grass and see how you do. How about that? So, we come back inside. We're making a left turn right now, coming back inside. And plug the major cord back in. We plug the modem back in. We plug the router back in. Yay! Everybody's talking again, and it's up and running. Look at him go. Look at this guy troubleshoot. He should work for the cable company. So... Then we got that going on again, and then it did not too much longer. So long story short, seriously, because there's other stuff to talk about. Um, when I was outside with Bodie, before we went back inside, I called the cable company again because after canceling the appointment, I figured I better get them out here if they got to change the cable because the first representative said the equipment looks fine. Maybe the cable's corroded, eroded, exploded. So, I figured they'd come out and check the cable and uh, redo the cable and all the little connectors and make it all nice, nice again. Okay? So, I get her on the phone. Again, 30 minutes. Hold. Thank you very much for the long hold time. Thank God my service lasted long enough for us to even talk. So, we're talking about the problem, and she says to me, Oh, we're going to get you out there and they're going to change the equipment also because you have the 3.0 model or the model that talks to the 3.0 service. We now have 3.1. Oh, hey, Millie. Yeah. Did you hear that? We had to change it because the system is 3.1 now, not 3.0 anymore. Universal face. So. Those of you that are just listening to the audio podcast will have to go to the YouTube channel to see the funny faces I make. Oh, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I space show. Don't forget to go over there. We're not going crazy over here. We're not hitting some dead air. Don't worry. Go to the YouTube channel. You'll see what I'm talking about. And we go back and forth and forth and back on the Dean Bodie show. So. We're sending out the new equipment. We're sending out the new modem and the new router that's going to be talking in the 3.1 language, not the 3.0. I said, wow, why didn't the other representative tell me that? She said, oh, maybe she didn't scroll down far enough and look at the equipment and see what's really going on. Okay, wow, some people just do their jobs a little bit better than others, don't they? So, there's a lesson in life. Always scroll down. Because you never know what's lurking in the lower side of the notes and all that and see if the equipment is up to date. Because the first guy would have just came out here with just the cable. Hi, I'm here with the cable and I I forgot the equipment. We would have had to go through the whole thing again where he had to come back or she had to come back again. Oh, and do the whole thing over again. So this one... And her name, believe it or not, happened to be A-L-E-X-A. How crazy is that? So they're coming out tomorrow. They didn't have a today appointment. Tomorrow, 10 o'clock, bringing out the new one, the new modem, the new router, the new cable, the new connectors. And we're going to be going at supersonic, triple sonic speeds. And we didn't even have to call Elon Musk. So I'm excited about that because things working good and things moving fast. You know, I'm working from home. I do what I got to do. We need things working. We need things lickety-fast, supersonic speed. 
Oh, yeah. So, that's the story. We're still doing our thing. It looks like the Wi-Fi, the, the old system had to tap out. Anyway, it turns out that I can use my personal hotspot on my iPhone, go into the computer, go down that menu, click it on iPhone in the Wi-Fi area, and the iPhone is talking to the computer personal hotspot. Yay! Look at this guy figure things out. Wow! Oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. 1,000 downloads. No wonder he's so good at this. Oh. So, we're going to take a hard right turn, a hard right turn right now. Just stick with me on this because I want to talk about leftovers. Who loves you pretty baby? Who's going to help you through the night? Who loves you pretty mama? Who's always there to make it right? Who loves you? Who loves you, pretty baby? Who's gonna love your mama? Who loves you, pretty baby? Oh, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. Oh, man. We've been doing that today. How many hits do they have? Oh, man. We're gonna be doing a little Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons sing-alongs. Don't you worry. So... When tears are in your eyes and you can't find your way It's hard to make you leave your happy when you're gray ba -da -ba -ba -doo 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 -doo. Oh man, I'm getting chills just how awesome is that band? Put some Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Get yourself skipping around the house. Turn that frown upside down. Looks like the Bean Dean Bodie show. Yeah, we're a shining light here. We want to be your shining light. Come on. There's always a way to fix things. Just like Dana White from the UFC said the other night at Fight Island, there's a solution to every problem. Now we're personal hotspotting things. Computer's talking to the iPhone. I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. Don't mess with us. We're not. Don't stop in Dean Bodie's show. We're coming at you daily. Because we know life is daily, not weekly and monthly. So... We're going to take a hard right turn and we're going to talk about leftovers. <laughs> you know how sometimes you have leftovers in the fridge? Hey, they look kind of cool when you put them in there for one day and you look forward to it maybe, but you don't get to them for a few days. And then, I don't know, your energy towards the leftovers starts to change. Is it still good? It's not really fresh. Me personally, I go through this craziness in my mind constantly with leftovers a lot of times i'm after i reheat them they're unbelievably delicious and i'm like wow i almost threw that out that would have sucked so i'm glad that i saved it other times you let it go too long and then you're right teeter-tottering on the cusp of if i eat this am i gonna get sick or is it gonna be okay because it kind of you pop the lid and it passes the smell test but you're still kind of like, I don't know, those peppers look a little wilted, the chicken kind of looks a little sweaty, I don't know if it's worth it. So I'm at that point right now with a couple things in my fridge as we speak. So, what are you going to do? Throw it away? Oh, if you're from Jersey, it's throw it away. Okay, if you're from New York, go have a hot dog and a cup of coffee. For my friends over there in Boston, oh, I don't know, look out for the packy. Watch out for cruisers. Let's go to the packy and let's go get hammered. Hey, if you're from, uh, oh, I don't know, Miami, hola, como esta? Oh, well, maybe you're from Haiti. Uh, bonsoir, monsieur. Sac passe. Who is this guy over here, Dean Bodie? He speaks all these languages. Hey, this is why we're tapping into all areas of the world. Thousand downloads and climbing. We're past that. We're like a thousand twenty-five as I woke up today. Let's go. We're doing this together. Organically. We need you. You need me. We're climbing up the trees. Zippity pop pop and I give the dog a bone. Yappa tee da 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 da. So, the leftover thing's a little bit crazy. I'm teeter tottering on some things right now. I got some leftover steak and some stir fry that I made. I think we're going to make it today because you know what? If you make the fresh jasmine rice, everything seems to be a little bit better. Oh, yeah. Hey, Millie. 
He's making some jasmine rice. Oh, I love jasmine rice. Excellent. So, now, if you have a mom like I grew up with, Shout out to mom, love you more than anything, 92 years young, she's got all the technology, she jumps in the Uber or the Lyft and goes to the doctor's appointments, she's all dialed in over there at the house, don't mess with my mom, healthy, lives by herself, in the zone, you too can do, that's inspiring, you can get into your 90s and act like you're in your 30s, that's all, between the ears, so, when I was growing up, if you left something around too long, not even that long, a few hours, it's going from the counter, going right into the freezer. Sometimes mom would freeze things a little too quickly. So we get a nice big fresh bag of bagels, and we're on the, it's on the counter, have some nice bagel and a cream cheese and lox, with a little slice of tomato, with a little red onion, boom! And, uh... We want another one in the afternoon. But when we come back for the afternoon bagel, they're already in the freezer. Oh! Slow down with the freezer. Hey, look, if we any of us end up missing, just go check mom's freezer. We're probably inside there. <laughs> anyway, we're finding like old salamis from 1975 that are so freezer burned they turn into like salami dust anyway funny stuff and uh the freezer does work and you know look i like to get it home from the grocery store put things in the freezer then but when we have fresh stuff it's okay for a day before you bring it into freezer land oh so anyway listen i gotta check something here because I want to make sure we don't want to shortchange anybody. Dean Bodie show. DeanBodie.com. Come on. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Yata ti zabada bada da. Erbada doo da, dee 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 doo. Yabada dee da, da bada da. All right. Man, I have this iPhone story I got to talk about right now. It's kind of crazy. I ended up taking the Uber or the Lyft over to the animal clinic because Bodhi needed a couple things. They had it on wait for me. I think it was, um, you know, she needed something, uh, I'm trying to remember, um, <clears throat> some spray I put on this. Sometimes she'll get the hot spots on allergy season and it calms things down and doesn't let things fester for too long. Got to keep an eye on the Bodhi. Very high maintenance. So <clears throat> I go there to pick it up. And I'm in the lift and I get there. Before he lets me out, I said to him, I have an extra mask and some even those black gloves I have, those latex ones I got, the ones that the chefs use. Here, just as a gift. He goes, wow, you're an angel. Because he didn't have anything. This is when the pandemic was first going on. Just trying to be nice, do a nice gesture. I get out of the car without my iPhone. I get into the animal clinic, the driver takes off, and I'm looking for my phone. The animal, uh, the, uh, the veterinary assistants are looking at me like, what's going on? And I'm like, I cannot believe I left my phone in the car. Off he goes. So, what do I got to do? I have to walk now from the animal clinic all the way back home because I can't even get the lift from the app on my phone because the phone is gone. Here we go. So I start walking. And instead of going home, I said, you know what I can do? I can make a left here and go right all the way, walk to the Sprint store where I have my phone service and see if somebody's working. Chances of them working was slim and none when this first started to go because everybody was closing. And uh, so I just said, I'm going to go for it. I walk all the way to the Sprint, and look, somebody's working. We actually swapped the phones out. They didn't have the one I wanted, but I had to get something going. So get the phone back on because I work from my phone. It was a whole mess. So what do I do? I get that phone. As I'm walking back to the animal clinic, right, from the phone, 
and I was going to go back there. Actually, no, when I was at the Sprint store, I take that back, rewind. When I was at the Sprint store, the animal clinic calls me when the new phone gets turned on. Like a miracle. Okay? I don't know. The iPhone's gods were shining down on me. She says, the Lyft driver brought your phone back after I just made the purchase and got the new phone. Oh! So I said, while I'm here, let's just get another phone number just so I can have a backup phone because if this happens again, we're in big trouble. So now I got a new phone with a new number and I'm going to walk all the way back to the animal clinic. It's a few mile walk. It's just not like a little skippity doo da. Get all the way back there. Get the old phone. I bring the phone. I walk all the way back again to the Sprint store. Oh, no. Then I had the app for the Lyft, and I could call the Lyft driver. Comes to get me while I was there using the, the Animal Clinic's Wi-Fi. Takes me back to Sprint. Turn the my phone back on after they shut off the other phone uh, of my original phone. Got that one going, and now I went home with two phones and one with the new number. Ow! Oh! Woo! Could you keep up with that? Hey, look out! Okay, that's it. Done! Those of you that got a little pause in the audio, go over to the YouTube channel. You'll see some of the... the <laughs> The Bodie, Dean Bodie Kung Fu that we do over here. We don't do Kung Fu Panda. We do Kung Fu Lizard Crouching Tree Frog. You'll see it. Go to the YouTube channel. D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show. YouTube channel. DeanBodie.com is the uh, is the website. We got the podcast on there. Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts. Woo! We are rolling today. I'm so excited about the thousand downloads. Thank you so much. 800-878-9698. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Good girl, Bodie. Yeah, she's the best girl in the world. Yeah. DeanBodie.com, 800-878-9698. The fun line. Call it. Say something fun on there. Do your uh, kung fu lesson, whatever you want to do. Say it on there. hi ya, whatever you do. That's how we do it. We want to have fun together. Hope we're a shining light. Don't bathe in the covid schmovid pandemic schmandemic. Let's go. Keep moving forward. Keep your immune system strong. Take care of yourself so you can take care of somebody else. We're going to come out of this bigger, better, and stronger. And before we go, who loves you pretty baby? Who's going to help you through the night? Who loves you pretty mama? Who's always there to make it right? Who loves you? Who loves you pretty baby? Who's gonna love your mama? Who loves your pretty baby? Have an awesome day. DeanBody.com. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.